Okay, so you've been out to your local outdoor store, you've grabbed a can of bear spray, and now you're probably thinking, I'm totally fine to go out hiking as much as I want, totally by myself. Not quite yet. Let's talk about some of the limitations and do a little demonstration of what shooting a bear spray actually looks like. Alrighty, first and foremost, the most obvious limitation with a can of bear spray is its range. The max you can expect is about 5 meters or 15 feet, but if the wind's going to the left or to the right, you can expect a reduction closer to 3 meters. If the wind's coming towards you, you are going to have a heck of a horrible time. About 20 minutes of coughing later, you'll find it'll be okay. Please learn from my terrible, terrible experience that you're about to see. Okay, so we're here at the camp at some campground and we just sprayed some oh, bear spray. It wasn't me, Griffin! Everyone is not doing well. The bear spray blew in the air. Griffin's doing shit. Connor's doing shit. Will's doing shit. The air tastes like Tabasco sauce right now. All right, so the next limitation to be aware of with your bear spray is how long it's going to last. A 225 gram canister like this one's only gonna be about six to eight seconds to react and spray a bear. So you really don't have time to be spraying when it's not in range. You don't have time to mess around. Last thing to know here, make sure this thing is accessible. If you need it, you're going to need it relatively quickly. So at the bottom of your backpack or in your car at the trailhead, those are both horrible examples. Keep it in a properly made bear spray harness, or what I like to do personally, I just stick it right in my pocket. Nice and simple. Okay, so now what you've all been waiting for, actually spraying your bear spray, is as simple as pulling it out, in my case, out of my pocket, taking off this safety clip right here, and then you aim at your target, click that button. <laughs> 